Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the M13B. How long's it been since you thought of that weapon? The M13B is actually a fairly high damage weapon with a headshot of 45, upper torso at 33, lower torso at 33, dropping down to the upper legs at 29. And look at the effect of damage range, 31.9 meters with a minimum damage range of 46.3. So the strategy in configuring this weapon is to make it as recoil free as possible so you can reach out to those longer distances and gack somebody. Mobility is average to slightly below average and as is handling. Let's take a look at the configuration that I use. The T51R billeted brake and what does that do for us? It brings the vertical recoil down significantly, 27 degrees. The SL skeletal vertical grip, that again addresses the recoil. What I'm trying to do is make this thing a laser beam. Also our ADS speed, it helps bringing it down to 238 milliseconds. It's going to be impacted because I'm putting the big magazine. Speaking of which, 45 rounds, I avoided the 60 round magazine because 45 is a lot and it hurts our ADS by 11 percent along with that other red but that other red is fairly minimal ads movement speed at three meters per second is still pretty good the factory stock increases or decreases our ads movement speed the composite getting us to three meters per second it helps with the sprint speed and the tactical sprint speed very low. finally the mark three reflector for the opt let's go on to the field of honor and see what happened all right let's get into this the M13B OG. I didn't use it much in Modern Warfare 2, I have to admit. We'll start with a free-for-all, because I think that's always a good test of a weapon. You're only depending on yourself and the iron you're carrying. <laughs> Whoa! Somebody just put one in my teeth. All right, so if you look at, compared to the MCW, fire rate is much better for the M13B, as is the effective damage range. Headshot damage, significant. Bullet velocity is better for the MCW, but that's the only significant advantage that it has, if that's even an advantage, given most shots are going to be hit scans for both of them. If you take a look at the kill metrics, MCW rules. If you can get the mythical headshots, the four headshots, and it's a 284 millisecond kill. Other than that, upper torso and lower torso goes significantly to the M13B, a slight advantage to the MCW lower than that. ADS, 27 milliseconds faster for the M13B as a sprint to fire speed. That is very significant. Now these are as configured for the M13B versus the stock MCW. So you could jazz up the MCW a little bit, but not that much. This first free for all was a very, very tight map. Das House. Das Haus mit no refrigerator or air conditioning or roof. I felt like the MCW put out bullets very, very fast for an AR. And I wasn't afraid to challenge the snipers at a little bit of distance. There I check out what's going on in the sky as if that's going to help me. A couple of love taps with my Renetti before I buy the farm. I buy the farm, I buy the farm, I buy the farm. I managed to bring the enemy back into this game through my purchases of acreage. So it's a tight free-for-all, but it always is on Das House because there's so many ways to eat a bullet here. Get rid of that thing, whatever it is. Can't be good. It's blinking red. We're tied up. 28 kills each. It's not the M13B's fault, that's for sure. And there's the victory. Snickers victory, 30 kills. It's so satisfying. So, I decided to go again on a team deathmatch. That's a great evaluation. And I got to thinking, 
looking at the stats, MCW versus M13B, the new flagship sheep versus the OG. And things started looking really good for the M13B. I mean, I got that recoil down to nothing. The vertical recoil is actually significantly better on the M13B than it is with the MCW. The range is better. So this gave me a head-to-head -head test. The King holding an MCW versus the M13B. And there she is again. That really didn't tell me anything. And taking a bullet tells me I need to watch out behind me. But there she is a little bit further away. And it's a win for the M13B. Really, we were shooting at about the same time. We both had good aim on that one. And the M13B with its faster fire rate and stronger, stronger punch and faster time to kill won that engagement. So I'm searching where the enemy isn't. They're slightly at, at distance. Got a headshot or two in there. Help for the kill. Just strafing because the strafe is better than the MCW, I think, insignificantly, but better nonetheless. You have a little better side-to-side -side movement aim down sight. There's a kangaroo. Put him out of his misery. Go, my child, and do work. And we got a turret, which I usually get killed putting out the turrets. I know people give me advice, but uh, anyway, we won't talk about that. Now the MCW is going to come into view again here at relative distance, and it just destroyed, it erased the MCW. And that person had that thing fully configured, and they were actually a pretty good player. Got the turret out. People aren't paying attention. You get a bullet in the ear. That's what my mom always said. You don't pay attention, somebody's going to gack you. There she is again, and it's just the aim down sight time, sprint to fire time was superior, and again, with the M13B over the MCW. So I started out just evaluating the OG M13B, and, and I kind of fell in love with it. I, I think it's better than the MCW in a lot of areas. We'll go over that in a second. There we are at distance again. Doesn't help if you run out of bullets. And there, there was the MCW King again. See if I can get myself gacked putting it out, of course. But I think the turret will take revenge. Game's almost over anyway. Just a couple more kills. Maybe the mosquito will do it. It'll bite somebody and leave a welt. And there's the final kill. So is the 13 be better than the MCW? Damage, yes. Aim down sight, yes. Sprint to fire, yes. Recoil, yes. Range, yes. Fire rate, yes. And time to kill, yes. So it's going in my class setup. It's going to have its own spot. The MCW does not. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Cheers and peace to you.